everybody uh, today we are going to see some important results of circle that is the name of our topic is some results of equal chord or some results of uh, chords of the same circle okay so we are going to see today some two theorems from that first one is theorem number one of any two chords of a circle of any two chords of a circle show that the one which is larger the one which is larger is nearer to the center one which is larger is nearer to the center okay figure is given circle is given once again see of any two chords of a circle any two chords of a circle a b and c d of are the chords of circle of the same circle okay so in given things we will mention this first what is given of any two chords of a circle a b a b and c d are the chords are the chords of circle circle c o r okay these are the chords of same circle hmm? then what is given of any two chords of a circle show that one which is one which is larger is nearer to the center okay here center is given o okay o r hmm? one which is larger here a b is larger you can see okay easily you can get a b is larger than c d okay then here we have to prove that ab is nearer to the center than cd ab is nearer to the center than cd that we need to prove okay once again see what we have done ab and cd are the chords of circle show that one which is larger okay ab is larger ab is greater than cd that is given okay so to prove what we need to prove to prove AB is larger than CD. Then we have to prove show that the one which is larger is nearer to the center. So here we have to prove AB is nearer. AB is nearer to the nearer than CD. AB is nearer than CD to the center. To the center O that we need to prove. Okay, AB is nearer to the center. Then means here we have to prove that what we need to prove here OM here we have to prove this suppose we will take L and this we will take M okay then this is perpendicular okay perpendicular drawn from the center of circle bisect the chord that property we are going to use okay so here what we need to prove OL OL is shorter than OM okay ol is if ol is shorter than om then definitely we can say ab is nearer to the center o okay if we have to prove this is our target this we need to prove understood so ab and cd are the chords of circle c o r then what we have to do now construction in construction what we will mention construction what we are going to mention we have to join this we have to join this oc join OC as well as OA okay OC and OA we will join this is OM is given huh? that is given so that we can mention here OM is perpendicular to CD and OL is perpendicular to perpendicular to AB chord AB okay that is given Hmm. and perpendicular drawn from the center of circle to a chord bisect the chord means here definitely al and ab is equal cm and md is equal okay so that we need to take in consideration so here first we will take al is equal to uh, ol ol is perpendicular to ab ol is perpendicular to ab means what al is equal to half of ab AL is equal to half of AB. AL and AB are equal. Uh, sorry, AL and AL is equal to half of AB. Okay, because this is perpendicular from the center. As well as we can say C OM OM is perpendicular to CD. So we can say CM is equal to half of CD. CM is equal to half of CD. Okay. Now, as we know that this is perpendicular drawn. So, definitely this is a right angle triangle ALO and triangle 
OMCR both are right angle triangles. So here we can use Pythagoras property. Okay, or Pythagoras theorem is applicable here. So now I'm taking here in triangle, in triangle OLA, OLA. We can use here. Suppose I want to use here Pythagoras property. Then what I can say OA square is equal to AL square plus LO square. Okay, OA square. O A square is equal to O L square plus A L square. Okay, so this is I'm saying this is first one. Okay, O A square is equal to O L square. The hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the uh, squares of legs. Okay, now in triangle, in triangle O M C, O M C. Here also we can use Pythagoras property. This is the hypotenuse. O C square, O C square. Is equal to O M square, O M square plus C M square. Okay, this is I am saying second one. But this is the center of circle. O is the center of circle, and A O and C O are the radii of the same circle, and both are equal. Radii of the same circle are always equal. So A O is equal to C O. Okay, so A O square here we can use that A O. A O is equal to C O because the radii of the same circle, same circle, radii of the same circle. So definitely A O square is equal to C O square. A O square and C O square are equal. Getting so A O square. What we have A O square, O L square plus A L square, and O C square is equal to O M square plus C M square. So if L H S are equal, O L O A square and O C square are equal. Then we can say its R H S are also equal. Okay, so from one and two we can say O L square plus A L square is equal to O M square plus C M square. O L square plus A L square is equal to O M square plus C M square. Okay, so this is I am saying third one. This we are going to use afterwards. Okay, so now here we can say A L is equal to A L is equal to half of A B. A L is equal to half of A B, or we can say O L is greater than O M. That we are, that we need is greater than A B is greater than C D. A B is greater than C D is given. Okay, so definitely half of A B, half of A B, half of A B. A B is greater than C D. That is given. So definitely half of A B is greater than half of C D. Half of A B is greater than half of C D. Okay, so half of AB means what? Half of AB means what? AL. Okay, half of AB is equal to AL is greater than half of CD. We can take CM. Okay, CM. Hmm? So AL is greater than CM. AL is greater than CM. Okay, so we can say square. If we will take square of this, AL square is greater than CM square. AL square is greater than CM square. Okay, so uh, here we can say AL square. AL square is greater than CM square. AL square. We need to add here OL square in both the sides. See here, AL square is greater than CM square. Got it, everybody? What we have done? AB is greater than CD. Half of so half of AB is also greater than CD. AL half of AB is equal to AL. Half of CD is equal to CL. AL is greater than CM. So AL square is also greater than CM. Now AL square we will add OL square in both the sides. Okay. So AL square plus OL square is greater than CM square plus OL square because the same part we are adding both the sides in LHS and RHS. Understood. So here we can write by adding by adding OL square. Okay, by adding O L square, we have done this. A L square plus O L square. Okay, so now see here that I am taking here A L square, A L square plus O L square is greater than C M square, C M square, C M square plus O L O L square, O L square. Okay, so A L square plus O L square. This is A L square plus O L square is greater than C M square plus O L square. C M square plus O L square. Okay. So now from first here, first one, the third one we have O L square plus 
AL square is equal to what we have? OL square. See, OL square plus AL square. Here also OL square plus AL square. So, we can replace this by this. So, I am taking here OM square plus CM square is greater than CM square plus OL square. Okay. So, here we can give reason from third. From third we can write here. Okay. So, now here CM square and this CM square are same. So, that will be cancelled. So, what is remaining here? OM square is greater than OL square. OM square is greater than OL square. If OM square is greater than OL, then we can say OM is greater than OL. OM is greater than OL. Okay. If OM is greater, that only our target. OM, OM is greater than OL. Okay. It means what? OL is shorter than OL is shorter than OM. Okay. That means what? What is target? AB is nearer to the nearer than CD to the center. Okay. So, AB is nearer to the chord AB is nearer to center O. Okay. Once again see uh, theorem. This is the name of theorem is of any two chords of a circle show that the one which is larger is nearer to the center. Okay. So, AB and CD are the chords of circle. AB and CD are chords of circle of center C, O, R. AB is greater than CD. Chord AB is greater than CD that is given and OM is perpendicular to CD and OL is perpendicular to AB. So, AL and LB are equal, CM and DM are equal. Okay. So, now um, we have to prove that OL is shorter than OM. So, what we have done? OL is perpendicular to AB that is given. So, AL is equal to half of AB and CM is equal to half of CD. So, first here we have used uh, Pythagoras property. So, here we got OA square is equal to OL square plus AL square. Okay. Then in triangle, this triangle we have taken again Pythagoras property. So, OC square is equal to OM square plus CM square. If LHS, OA square and OC square are equal because red are of the same circle. AO and CO are equal. So, its square are also equal. So, what we have done? If LHS, here LHS are equal, then RHS we can compare or equate. So, here OL square plus AL square is equal to OM square plus CM square. Here we have given third one. Now, what is given? AB is greater than CD. That is given. So, half of AB is also greater than half of CD. So, half of AB means what? AL. AL is greater than CM. So, if AL is greater than CM, its square is also greater than this. So, AL square is equal uh, greater than CM square. So, here we have added OL square. Okay. Here we have added OL square in both the sides. So, if we are adding both the sides, then value does not change. Okay. It remains constant. This is greater only. Okay. So, AL square plus OL square is greater than CM square plus OL square. Okay. So, here again I have taken and this, this we have here. AL square plus OL square is equal to OM square plus CM square. So, we have replaced this by this. Is greater than CM square plus OL square. So, this is CM square will be cancelled. OM square is greater than OL square. OM, so OM is greater than OL, so OL is shorter than OM, means if this is shorter than this, okay, if this is shorter than this, then center O and AB, the distance is less than this, okay, so that is our target. Understood everybody? See carefully and solve the same theorem in your notebook. Thank you. Okay, so see here, uh, today's our second theorem is uh, of any two chords of a circle show that one which is nearer to the center is larger. Okay, here circle is given. Okay, so two chords are given A, B and C, D. Hmm? Once again see, of any two chords, so A, B and C, D are the chords of the same circle, of circle C, O, R chords of a circle show that one which is nearer to the center, okay, AB, AB is nearer to the center than this, okay, because OL is shorter than OM, AB is nearer means what, o OL is shorter than OM, that we need to consider, okay, so here first we will write given things, okay, two chords, two chords, a, B and C, D of circle 
सी ओ आर सर्कल सी ओ आर ओके टू कॉर्ड्स ऑफ अ सर्कल सो दैट वन विच इज नियर ओके विच इज नियर ए बी इज नियर टू द सेंटर वाय बिकॉज ओ एल ओ एल इज स्मॉलर दैन ओ एम ओके सो ए बी इज नियर टू सी डी सो ए बी इज नियर टू सेंटर ओ सेंटर ओ ओके ए बी इज नियर टू सेंटर ओ ए बी इज नियर टू देन सी डी टू द सेंटर ओ ओके सो नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू प्रूव टू प्रूव शो दैट वन विच इज नियर टू द सेंटर इज लार्जर ओके ए बी वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट ए बी इज ग्रेटर दैन सी डी लार्जर इज ग्रेटर दिस इज ए बी इज ग्रेटर दैन सी डी द लेंथ ऑफ ए बी इज ग्रेटर दैन सी डी दैट वी हैव टू प्रूव ओके फॉर दैट वी नीड टू डू सम कंस्ट्रक्शन दैट इज वी नीड टू जॉइन कंस्ट्रक्शन वी नीड टू जॉइन सी ओ एंड ओ ए ओके सो जॉइन 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 सी ओ एंड सी ओ एंड ओ ए ओ ए ओके इन गिवन थिंग वन मोर थिंग वी नीड टू एक्सप्लेन दैट दैट इज ओ एम इज परपेंडिकुलर टू सी डी ओके हियर वी नीड टू राइट ओ एम इज परपेंडिकुलर टू सी डी एंड ओ एल इज परपेंडिकुलर टू ए बी ओके दैट वी नीड टू मेन्शन इन द गिवन थिंग्स ए बी इज ग्रेटर देन सी डी दैट इज अवर टार्गेट दिस वी हैव टू प्रूव ओके सो नाउ कंस्ट्रक्शन वी हैव डन नाउ वी विल थिंक अबाउट द प्रूफ ओके सो इन प्रूफ वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू सी फर्स्ट ओ एल इज परपेंडिकुलर टू ओ एल इज परपेंडिकुलर टू ए बी ओ एल इज परपेंडिकुलर टू ए बी सो ए एल इज इक्वल टू ए एल इज इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ ए बी ए एल इज इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ ए बी ओके देन एज ओ एम ओ एम इज ऑल्सो परपेंडिकुलर टू ओ एम परपेंडिकुलर टू सी डी सो वी कैन से सी एम इज इक्वल टू सी एम इज इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ सी डी सी एम इज इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ सी डी ओके सो नाउ अगेन हियर वी आर गोइंग टू यूज पाइथागोरस प्रॉपर्टी ओके इन ट्रैंगल ए ओ एल इन ट्रैंगल ए ओ एल ओके ए ओ स्क्वेर ए ओ स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू ओ एल स्क्वेर ओ एल स्क्वेर प्लस ए एल स्क्वेर ओ ए ओ स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू ओ एल स्क्वेर प्लस ए एल स्क्वेर ओके पायथागोर प्रॉपर्टी सो दिस इज एम एंड सेकंड इन ट्रैंगल इन ट्रैंगल ओ एम सी और ओ सी एम ओ सी एम हियर वॉट वी कैन डू ओ सी स्क्वेर ओ सी स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू सी एम स्क्वेर प्लस ओ एम स्क्वेर और एम ओ स्क्वेर ओ सी स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू सी एम स्क्वेर प्लस ओ एम स्क्वेर ओके सो फ्रॉम दिस फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन से ए ओ स्क्वेर इफ आई विल कीप दिस ए एल हियर देन हाउ वॉट आई विल गेट फ्रॉम दिस सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू राइट ए एल स्क्वेर ए एल स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू ए ओ स्क्वेर माइनस ओ एल स्क्वेर ए एल स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू ए ओ स्क्वेर माइनस ओ एल स्क्वेर ओके सो दिस इज आई एम सींग फर्स्ट वन एंड हियर ओ सी स्क्वेर Uh, suppose I want to find out here C M square. C M square is equal to C M square is equal to um, O C square minus O M square. This is second one. Okay. C M square is equal to O C square minus O M square. That is second one. Okay. So uh, two things we are going to use. This is first one and second one. Our problems we are going to use. Then you will ask one question: Why A L only we have taken, or why C M only we have taken? Because here Uh, C. Our target is A B should be greater than C D. Means A B is greater than C D. That we need to show. So A B means why A L we have taken. A L is the half part of A B. Okay. So that's why A L and C M. A L and C M we have kept this side. Okay. So now after this, what is given? C O L. O L is shorter than O M. O L is shorter than O M. That is given. Okay. So OL if OL is shorter than OM then we can say OL square is shorter than OM square OL square is shorter than OM square understood see here i am telling you 
2 is shorter than 3. 2 is shorter than 3. Then 2 square is 4. 4 is also shorter than the square of this. If you will take square of both the sides then 2, the result is same. If 2 is smaller than 3, then its square 4 is also smaller than its square. But if we will take here negative minus 4 and here minus 9, then then equality changes. Then minus 4 is greater. Equality changes in this condition. Understood? The same thing we are going to use here. Okay. Equality changes why? Minus 4 is greater than minus 9. You have seen a number line. Okay. So this is uh, 0. Here minus 1, minus 2. Here suppose I am taking minus 4 and here minus 9. It will come afterwards. Understood? So here 0 is greater than minus 1. Minus 1 is greater than minus 2. Minus 2 is greater than minus 4. Okay. So minus 4 is greater than minus 9. Okay. Here equality changes in this condition. Okay. So same result we are going to use here. That is if this is negative O L square. If it is negative minus O L square then it will change. Minus O M square. Minus O M square. Okay, so this we have now. Understood? Now what we are going to do? We are going to add a o square in both the sides by adding by adding a o square a o square. So here a o square suppose I will add then what I will get? a o square minus o l square. I am adding. So this my negative sign is going to remain as it is. Is greater than a o square minus o m square. Okay, so a o square minus a o square minus o l square. Here we have a o square minus o l square is equal to a l square. So that I will replace here a l square is greater than a o square. a o square we can replace a o and c o are the red of the same circle. So that I am replacing a o I am replacing by c o. c o square minus o m square okay so that we have c o means o c square o c square minus o m square is equal to c m square so a l square is greater than c m square okay so here we can write from this if specifically we can write from 1 and this is from 2 okay so a l square is greater than c m square a l square is greater than c m square if a l square is greater then we can write a l is greater than c m okay a l is greater than c m suppose i will take now here 2 times a l I, if i will multiply both the sides by 2 then 2 a l is greater than 2 c m 2 a l is greater than 2 c m okay so 2 a l means what l is the midpoint of a b l is the midpoint of ab so what is going to come 2 al is equal to ab 2 al is equal to ab is greater than 2 cm 2 cm is what cd so ab is greater than <coughs> cd that is our target okay so see here once again carefully this is uh, easy theorem but we need to do some things by our own okay we have to add why it is subtracted here why we need to add that you will understand without this we will not get the result which we want <coughs> so see carefully once again i am explaining you what is the theorem name of any two chords of a circle show that one which is nearer to the center is larger one which is nearer to the center is larger this is a b is nearer to o then c d so a b is larger that we need to show a b is greater than c d that is our target so here it is perpendicular from the center to a chord bisect the chord okay so same result we are going to use here then we have done some construction join o c and o a then here pythagoras property and here pythagoras both the uh, in both places pythagoras property we have taken so here a o square is equal to o l square plus a square that we have taken here a l square we have shifted this here and this is c m square about second triangle c m square is equal to o c square minus o m square okay so that we have done then what is given o l is shorter than o m that we have taken so its square is also shorter here we have taken some different properties inequalities inequalities we have taken okay that how it it came that i told you hmm? so o l square is greater smaller than o m square but it's value is negative that time result changes this is shorter this was shorter 
now this is greater than that okay so by adding a o square we have adding we have added a o square in both the sides so a o square minus a o l square a o square minus o m square a o minus o l is equal to a l square is greater than c o c o we have replaced a o is equal to c o if you want here we can mention a o is equal to c o so c o square a o square we have replaced by c o square because are of the same circle minus o m square so a c o square minus o m square is equal to c m square so that we have taken here a l square is greater than c m square so a l is greater than c m okay if a l is greater than c m we have multiplied by 2 to both the sides so 2 a l 2 a l means what a l is the midpoint of a b so 2 a l means what a l plus a l b so a b so that is a b is greater than c d so that is our target got it everybody solve the same sum or uh, this theorem both the theorems in your notebook and do the practice of both the theorems okay thank you